So anyways, yeah, that's my voice block. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, because it was so rotten, it's really hard to hold on to without stabilizing it. In which case, I'd be turning this <clears throat> all away anyway. So I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I am going to lose some resin into that punky wood, but that's not a big deal. I'm just using it to fill space so I'm not wasting so much resin. Uh, um, right now, I'm just trying to size it to see if it will fit. So, without taking it off of here, because that's where I have it round at, I may need to straighten that up a hair. But I'm going to pull it off, chuck and all, and see if it fits in the bucket over there. And that way it goes back on that way in case I need to turn it some more. Let's go over there and see if it fits in that bucket. Okay, so hey, look down here. All right, so what I have here are some corn cobs. Now, I, I got mine out of the field. Now, I, I watched Billy Burt uh, doing one of these here a week or so ago. And so I'm going to give it a go. I kind of liked it. I'm going to do a little bit different than he did. He used a bowl and a bowl, which, you know, theoretically that saves on resin. But it makes a lot of other issues come up. Uh, so <laughs> how do you get a hold of it? Now, I know Billy did it. And, and, you know, I'll put that link over there in the corner for that video where I'm kind of copying this from. Uh, I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to put this waste block in now. Um, I've turned it a couple times and I know it fits, so I'm going to take, take the chuck off. Put this down in here now. I got a lot of, I already put these in here and I, I didn't think about it and I didn't turn the camera on. I just wanted to see if I had enough. And I did, but, you know, they're in there now. So this is going to be my waste block to go down in here. Like so and, and even though it's probably not anything what I wanted because I kind of wanted to just stay in and they're not doing what I wanted now they need to I didn't want them like that it appears I'm getting them like that all right I got another one somewhere I gotta find because now they're not gonna do what I want so you know how it is nothing ever works out like you won't all right so that that's my last one <laughs> uh, we'll put it in that way I need a fatter one on that side. I don't have it. Uh, I wanted the bottom to be tipped in, but that way I could catch them all the way down inside, but it doesn't appear that's gonna happen, but it's okay. Can't see it from your house, right? So I'm gonna use the Total Boat uh, three to one epoxy. It's a thick set to call it. That looks good right there. And now uh, Billy did his in red. When you go to watch it, he did his in red. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I wanna color mine or not. I think I'm gonna do it in the purple that turned to the Coke bottle green or blue. I think the color will look good in here. And I'm gonna try to do, that's why I wanted these kicked in like that, because I'm gonna try to do the, he did a copy of the, the pedestal bowl. So I'm gonna try to get that look to this also. If I can, I can, if not, oh well, no big deal. So, but I, I'm trying to follow like Billy did. I'm gonna do it different, I'm gonna do it my way. Uh, Billy did it his way, so. The other thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stick this in the vacuum chamber. Now, normally I wouldn't do it with the resin, but this thick set stuff takes, you know, 24 hours or so before it even starts to set up. So I got more than enough time to pull some air out of it because I think Billy ran into problems with down the, down the center of these not having, um, not ha they were voids down the center. Now, that when you stabilize it, it doesn't fill the voids, it just stabilizes the material. So I'm gonna to try to pull this resin down in there on a vacuum. I do not have to pressurize this resin. So I'm gonna to try to pull it on a vacuum. We'll see where it goes once I release that vacuum after a little bit. And I might mix up some more uh, resin to add to it, to top it off. But I'm gonna do this in the vacuum chamber. So we're gonna run you out there and, or maybe I'll, br I'll bring it in here. We'll do it from there. So I'm gonna fill this one up first. And we're gonna to go to 600 on this one. Six hundred on this one. <laughs> if I have that much in the jug, oh, it looks like I do. It'd be close. I think I can do it. Look at that. Got the empty jug. <laughs> okay, now we zeroed it out, and we're gonna put uh, what did I put? Six hundred. So we're gonna go. I think it's one hundred seventy-eight. One hundred seventy. One hundred sixty-eight. No, 28 times 6. That's what we got, right? 28 times 6 equals 168. Okay, that was right. So 
So we're gonna go with some Purple Twilight, uh, Ranger alcohol inks. I'm gonna put it in both of these. I know it's not gonna stay purple, so it should turn Coke bottle blue, hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan anyway, so. And if it stays purple, then okay, it's pretty purple, but I think it, it'll turn like a greenish blue color. For whatever reason, the purple doesn't like to stay purple in this resin, but that's fine. The color I'm looking for is what this is going to turn into. And also, I am going to put some interference blue in one. I'm hoping it turns blue and doesn't affect this, but I want that little bit of interference going on. Now, I know it looks like a little bit, a lot, but I got a lot of resin and I think I'm gonna be putting more in there. But for right now, I'm gonna mix these up and see what happens. I don't wanna to have too much mixed up. I'll mix it up if I need more. But I do expect this to disappear inside the corn cobs and uh, So I have a weight a piece of HDPE on it. We got these two here. So I'm gonna pour some of these in. Oops, who poured it on the weight? All right, well, I'm gonna get some more mixed up and uh, we'll come back in when I, I put the vacuum on here cause I gotta get all that over here too, but I'm not, any real kind of hurry because I got you know 24 hours before this stuff even tries to set up. Okay, so the idea here is to pull the pull the vacuum and hopefully pull the air out of what's there. Now I'm gonna have to watch it so it don't foam up and out. But I have a, a flower pot base down in the bottom. And the idea is to pull the vacuum for a little while and then let it go back in. Hopefully it stays. And then I may have to add some more, which I still have this much left. So you see it's coming up. Okay, well, I can't sit out here and babysit this any longer. And it's got a little more foamies than it used to have. But I'm going to release this anyways and then get it under pressure. So I pulled out a good majority of it. But I got to leave it set. And it, I don't think it's really going to matter because everything's submerged. So we'll get it under pressure. And hopefully that forces it back into where it all came from. to get that done <laughs> does seem I got some air pockets in here hopefully I can turn those out or I'll have to try and fill them but most of this bottom is Full of air, as you can see. You can see them in there or not. Looks like it right here. But you get this stuff cleaned up and flattened out, and we'll get it on a lathe here. I have to relocate that. I'm not sure that's going to be where I want it at the moment. But I'm going to saw these off with the little air saw.
<laughs> okay, so I've lost all the footage up to this point from when I put it on the lathe to this point. Um, I, I forgot and left the camera on. It got hot and it um, damaged the micro, mi micro card that's in there. So I had to reformat it. So I really haven't gone that far. I just kind of got a shape and I was filling some voids that are in this. Now, I, I, I watched Billy do his and I did not, you know, hot glue mine down. But it is what it is. Mine's a nightmare. His is more uniform. <laughs> but right now I'm just filling voids. I got some voids and, and that's what I was doing here. And I stopped and I went out to plow. I forgot to shut the camera off. It wasn't running, but it was still on. You know what I'm saying? And I lost my footage. So I'm going to start from here. We're not really that far. I don't even have a mortise in the bottom yet. So what I'm going to do is I got Total Boat Fast in here. just, And then I'm going to put the, the alcohol ink in it. Which is a or Purple Twilight from Ranger Inks. And yeah, I know it's really purple, but if you watch it, get it mixed up here. It'll turn blue, so maybe I'll leave it like that until it turns blue. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Watch it turn blue. Move it over there, I guess. That might help me. There you go. How weird is that? Just turns blue. It'll get a little more clearer than it is. I mean, you see where it's still purple up on the sides. But it's okay. So I got I got one here that I want to fill, and then I got to fill that big one, which I'll probably have to add more into it once everything settles. But you know, I won't know that until later. And that's all I wanted for there. And then this can go there. See, I get really light blue now. It don't take long for it to change colors. Right, so I got other repairs I got to make all the way around this. We'll come back here when I'm <laughs> hopefully turning again. Uh, I'm sorry I lost the footage. Um, I wasn't real happy about it, and I almost just scrapped all this project. But I figured I, I'm not really that far. I just did a shape on it, and I can finish it from here. I still have to hollow it. I still have to make this foot a little bit smaller. I was hoping that this filling here, because there's some pretty big voids down in here, in, in the in the backside down here. I was hoping that that would go down and fill it. It still looks like it's going down, but I got a 15 minute epoxy in there that's gonna set up before I get there. So I may have to do this a couple times. So, <laughs> in chasing these, actually I wasn't even chasing these, I found these ones after the fact. These cavities in here, and then I also found that there is a another one here. I was chasing this one here. Well, what this right here is, is my waste block in the center. So now that I've gone and screwed this all up, <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with it. Um, they, these shouldn't be there. I don't know why they're there. I mean, we pulled a vacuum on them. And that was to avoid some of the issues Billy was having, which I still have. Maybe I should just left it in the vacuum. I don't, I don't know. But the other problem I have is I found there's a crack. Right there is a crack in the resin. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix all this. So for right now, um, it, since uh, I have cooked the SD card in that camera up there, and it will shut itself off here shortly, 
I am going to call this project uh, a bust for right now. Um, as soon as I figure out how to deal with all this and I get the new gra the memory cards, uh, I had to order them. So as soon as they get here and I can do this again and not forget to turn my camera off where I cooked the card, uh, we'll, we'll get back to this. I'm not going to call this one total kaput yet, but I think it's going to be a two-parter until I figure out what it is I want to do with this and how I'm going to go about doing it. Right now, I don't have a clue and I don't have time by the end of this week to get a video up uh, and wait for those cards because they're coming in on Thursday. So Thursday afternoon, they'll come in, you know, and I need this video already up on YouTube by that day for Friday. So we'll call this one uh, good for now. I'm going to get a two-parter. I'm not sure what to do with this. I might grind that out of there and add some more in. And I'm not sure what to do here. I might. I have to fill these, obviously, and I have to fill this. Um, I'm not sure. I may, I may see how far I can turn into that. Uh, I, don't, I don't quite know what to do with it at the moment. That's it. Nothing's going as I planned here. So, <laughs> you know how that goes. Always goes that way. So, uh, yeah, the bottom's all bowed up. I haven't even put, I haven't even put a mortise in it yet. So, you know how it is. <laughs> that being said, um, yeah, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, we'll we'll figure this out somehow. Uh, I, I I don't know what to do with it right now. And I got too many other things going on currently to worry about it so i'm gonna set this aside we're not gonna throw it out or anything i'll come back to it here and then within the next few weeks hopefully um, but anyways uh i think i'll put a link at the end for billy's video billy does have his up so um, there was some magic number he was going to go dancing to i don't really want to see that y'all but go over and check out billy's video <laughs> no go go check billy out and his turned out much better than mine. You know, I, I was kind of working on this at the same time with him, but uh, I run into some other problems, uh, personal issues here. So, that being said, uh, we'll just give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Go check out Billy, and we'll catch you all next week.